And then it happens. Probably the scariest moment of my life behind the wheel. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to Vic Drives. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Vic. And this is what I drive, a 2000 Mercedes ML 320. Now, I can't tell you the number of times that someone has asked me why I drive this instead of a sports car or literally anything else. Can't tell you the number of times that someone has told me that this wasn't worth it, that I was wasting my time, and, you know, so many other things. But. There is a method to my madness, and if you want to know why I still daily drive a 20-year-old Mercedes, then stick through to the end of this video. Gentlemen, we need a new vehicle. One to replace the G-Class. One that we can make in America and sell to the masses. Is that even a German accent? What the... No more accents, I promise. So, a little history here. The ML was supposed to be a replacement for the G-Class, which I will put a picture of here, probably. The G-Class, the production version of the G-Class, was in production for 11 years at the time that they started developing this. And so Mercedes thought it was fit to start looking for a replacement. I have a lot of questions. Number one, how dare you? So, Mercedes decided that they were going to partner with Mitsubishi and create a new SUV based off of the old Pajero lineup that Mitsubishi has. I'll toss a picture up if you don't know what that looks like. So that partnership would have produced a vehicle that would have been sold as a Mercedes and then rebadged and also sold as a Mitsubishi. Not uncommon from a lot of vehicles that we have today. Lucky for us, Mercedes decided not to go that direction. They split ways and Mercedes continued development on their own from 1993. After about three years of development, in 1996 they started production. But you might think that it was a little bit before 1996, considering that this was seen running away from dinosaurs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this vehicle was used in Jurassic Park The Lost World in 1996. Pre-production models were released and they were slightly modified uh, to fit the film's description. me. I'm buying it. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Come 2015, the car was still running pretty well. 
There was a little bit of rust here and there, but that's not completely uncommon for a 15 year old car. But functionally, everything was great. It was running fine, was making good noises for a 3.2 liter V6. And there were no real issues. So I had decided to go to college about 15 minutes away from home, so I'd be commuting. So I pretty much used the car through the summer before college. Uh, I was just driving around town or driving to friends graduation parties, smashing that subscribe button. Obviously I was doing it on other channels, but you guys should totally do that on mine. And all in all, just kind of having fun, late night runs to McDonald's, what have you. And then it happens. Probably the scariest moment of my life behind the wheel. Before I get into that, I want to know, what did you guys drive your senior year of high school? Was it anything interesting or was it just a hand-me-down from your parents? So anyways, getting back to the story here. I was driving home from a karate class probably around 9 p.m. Uh, my karate studio is on top of a hill, so I was slowing down to get to the bottom of the hill and join the next street when my brake pedal just continued to fall to the floor. So any of my friends out there that know anything about cars will know that that meant that my brakes had failed. And so obviously I probably should have stopped the car and called my parents and had someone come get me, but obviously I didn't do that and continued to drive home. So I was able to slow the car down, but I wasn't able to actually come to a full stop. And so I somehow managed to get home in one piece, but I'm pretty sure that was the day that my mom decided that she didn't want to let me use this car anymore. So I started college in fall of 2015, by which point my parents had already started looking for another car to replace this. They decided to get a 2015 Honda Civic with a CVT transmission. No, God, please, no, 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 no! I know, but 40 miles to the gallon was a lot better than the 16 that this baby was putting out. So we got that, I drove that around for a little bit, but I wouldn't let my parents get rid of this. So I actually wanted a project car, something that I could work on, maybe do some mods, um, and you know, take some track days or something like that. My dad was on board for a little bit, but then it sort of changed and the dynamic became get rid of this and get that car or use this as your project car. Now, for me, I just didn't want to let go of this car, so obviously I made the exact opposite decision that anybody my age would have made. But now that I'd made my decision, it was time to move forward. So I took the car to an independent shop and tried to figure out everything that was wrong with it so I would know what I needed to do and what I needed to fix. Over the last five years, I've replaced a whole bunch of stuff, things from brakes to engine components, which you guys unfortunately missed, but I do have a good chunk of things that I still need to do, so I will be bringing those to the channel. But with each repair, I found myself getting closer and closer to this car. But even ignoring that, there's another common denominator. My first day of preschool I went to in this car. First day of elementary school, first day of high school, my first black belt test, my first job interview I drove to in this car. And there are so many more, so many memories and hopefully so many more to come, but this car has seen it all. And in the event that somehow in the future I become the Strad Man and I have 10 different cars, I promise you this one will definitely still be in the garage. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make the video so emotional, but you know, it is what it is. Anyways, before the rest of you guys go bawling your eyes out, I figured I'd just end the video here. As always guys, it's been a pleasure. Definitely, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.